Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Salah Khan's YouTube channel. And today, maybe with the last example on this even in our components of a signal. So let's say the question that I take is that x of t is equal to sine of t into u of t. Now sine of t is something that you know. u of t you also know it from the basic mathematics. You would have seen it in your differential equations course or Laplace's course. But you know, over here I would tell you just from the signal system also we also have to see it over here. What is u of t? So this u of t basically is the, is the what? It's the unit step signal. It is the unit step signal. And u of t has its particular values. It is 0 when t is less than 0 and it is 1 when t is greater than 1. When t is greater than 0. So at 0 basically this is not defined. Find now if I if I draw the graphs for you. So if this is time, this is u of t. So, so it's like this, fine, this is 1. Now, if uh, this is time reversed, so have a look, it would be like this, time reversed, which means we have x of negative t. x of negative t, so now this would be to this side, so this is 1 again. Now, if this signal is negative times x of negative t, which means that this is amplitude reversed. So it would be like this. Negative times x of negative t means you would flip it around the x-axis. This is your time axis. Now this would be negative 1. So have a look. x of t, the u of t, neither equals u of minus t, nor does it equal negative times u of negative t. So which means that this u of t signal, this is neither even nor odd signal. We may have a detailed discussion over this signal later on in this course. Fine, this is your, uh, about this, about this what? This function. So coming to the, this question about this, you know, even and odd signals. So we have, we have to find out x of negative t. So x of negative t would be sine of negative t u of negative t. Now sine of negative t you know it is negative times sine of t, right? So which means that x of negative t would equal uh, negative times sine of t and u of negative t. Is that fine? Now for the even component what would you do is x even. So you have half of and you add this sine of t, u of t and this negative sine of t, u of negative t. So have a look now. You have sine of t common. So 1 over 2 sine of t. Inside the brackets you have u of t minus u of negative t. u of t minus u of negative t. Okay, so let this be the mathematical representation. We, we draw it graphically after we, we discuss x or of t, right? Yes. So this is fine. It uh, is, right? Now x or. So this would be half of sine of t, u of t, and u negative. You subtract. And did I make a mistake? No, no. Fine, so you subtract this, so which means that over here you have to plus it because of this negative sign. So if you add it again, you have a look, sine of t is common, so you take sine of t outside, sine of t by 2, and in the bracket you would have u of t plus u of negative t. So uh, now we have a look. So first, look for the odd, u of t plus u of negative t. So this is u of t, this is 1. 
u of negative t this is one on the left side of the axis u of t is one on the right side of the axis you add these two to get a one throughout so this would equal one it will be like this right u of t plus u of negative t this would be one throughout so which means the odd component the odd component would be what x odd of t a only sine of t divided by 2 is that okay so if i draw the odd component also so say initially the magnitude the the the, the amplitude was 1 so now it would be 0.5 right and sine of 0 is 0 so it would be like this you go on and on and this represents a 0.5 this represents a negative 0.5 is that fine? So odd component we are done. Now to the even component. So you have a u of t. This is u of t. You have a negative u of negative t, which is this one. So you are adding these two. You are adding these two. So which means if I I take the duster and I would draw it over here. Fine. So what would be the case now? So if this is your axis, this is your time axis, what do you have to do? You have u of t and you have negative u of negative t. So which means you are adding u of t and negative u of negative t. So it would be like this. You have this over here one and this over here one. Is that fine? So now for the E1 component, you have this, u of t minus u of minus t. So this is the function. You have to multiply it with sine of t by 2. So sine of t by 2, we already have it with this over here. So have a look. You have to multiply each and every value, which means right hand side by right hand side, left hand side by left hand side. Each and every value with the corresponding each and every value. So have a look. If you multiply this right hand side by this right hand side, so this is 1. You multiply anything with 1, you get the same value. So if I draw the E1 component and let's say I draw it, I draw it over here, I remove this, fine, so, so, so let's say if this is the axis, this is your time axis and this represents x E1 of t. So the right hand side multiplied with 1 which will be the same, so, so this would be the graph. So this will be 0 0.5. Now have a look. The left hand side is multiplied with a negative 1. So multiplied with a negative 1 means what? We've seen this in the amplitude transformation video. You multiply a function with a negative 1, you get it amplitude reversed. So which means this function now that is on the left hand side would be would be what? It would be shifted, uh, it would be uh, reversed which means it would now have be a mirror image over the x-axis so the negative would be shifted upward the positive would be shifted downward so which means it would be like uh, like what like this or let me come here so now this is the graph for x e1 of t which is equal to this value and that's all for today. That's all about the examples. And I believe that's all about the E1 and R signals as well. See in the next lecture very soon, inshallah, where most probably we see the periodic and aperiodic signals. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And do subscribe to the channel and do remember me in your prayers. Goodbye.